Introducing Spin Launch, the company that looked at multi-stage rockets and said, nah. Founded in 2014 by Jonathan Yaney, Spin Launch is known for developing a kinetic energy based launch system, aka they are literally chucking shit into orbit. And speaking of this Yaney fellow, extra, extra. he's actually not even in the picture any longer, despite being the literal mad lad to dream up the company. In May, he stepped down and was replaced by then COO David Wren, a longtime employee responsible for a large part of Spin Launch's engineering and reportedly fundraising. Basically, zero reason has been given by anybody on this management shakeup, yet things seem to press on at Spin Launch. Regardless of such juicy drama, though, can Spin Launch actually succeed? And will the world see a brand new method of getting payloads into space? Well, Spin Launch uses a rotating arm inside a vacuum chamber to spin and catapult objects into space at extremely high speeds. At the point of releasing the payload, the craft launches at speeds surpassing Mach 6. To achieve such a speed right from the ground is revolutionary. Obviously, such a system greatly reduces reliance on fuel, making space launches for small enough payloads orders of magnitude cheaper than even the most modern economic options. Also, it's way more eco-friendly. Payloads will have to be built in order to be able to endure up to 10,000 Gs. That means that at the point of release, a payload would be undergoing so much force that it would be as if it weighed nearly 10,000 times its typical weight. Now, Spin Launch has already achieved a series of scaled down yet successful tests with its suborbital accelerator at Spaceport America in New Mexico. In 2022, it completed its 10th suborbital test flight, sending payloads from NASA, Airbus, and Cornell University on its high-tech slingshot system. These tests demonstrated the viability of Spin Launch's technology and provided critical data on the impact of extremely high-G forces on payloads. So now that the company has done more than 10 test launches, it has some refining to do, and then after that, it'll have to build its planned full-scale orbital accelerator. If all goes well, Spin Launch hopes to be yeeting customer payloads by 2026, but this is extremely optimistic and frankly, most likely unrealistic. The company is in the process of selecting a location for this facility, having explored sites both in the US and elsewhere. However, this hasn't been successful. Previous attempts to secure locations in Hawaii and Alaska were unsuccessful due to community and logistical challenges. If Spin Launch can't find anywhere to build such a massive facility in the US, it might be forced to build all the way in Western Australia. Looking ahead, Spin Launch's potential customers could be anyone looking for a more affordable way to send small yet sturdy satellites into space. The company's main competitors are of course the likes of super economic small launch firms like Astra and Rocket Lab. However, Spin Launch's unique yeeting approach clearly sets it apart from anybody else and would be able to severely undercut its competitors. But Spin Launch has got a long way to go before it becomes the space version of a t-shirt cannon. That metaphor doesn't really work, but you should still subscribe and turn on notifications if you like interesting space and aviation topics, like space trains, airline scams, and or flying cars. And with that, I'll see you in the next one.